I did my topic uh, a couple of days ago. Um, the topic was coach a team to defend to counter attack. Hopefully you can see the formation that I started off with. I don't think you can see this, but um, I'm going to hold it up in the hope that you can. Um, what I had was it was almost like a small sided game. Um, I had a formation of uh, one team had a 4 3 2 1, um, and the other team had the formation of a 2 4 1. Now I managed, I was, I was coaching the team that had the formation of the 2 4 1. Um, now just a bit of detail about the feedback that I got um, the feedback was basically relating to my management of the practice um, the key things that I was trying to get out of the practice was to encourage compact play so you're looking at the principles of defending um, and also uh, make sure that players understood um, anticipation for when it looked like we were about to regain um, and then the different types of uh, counter attacking that we can have um, and then obviously to have an end product now as I said the feedback related to my management of the practice um, One of the things that was uh, noted by the assessor was um, were the objectives of the practice achieved, um, and it's been partially achieved. Eventually, the players started to get into the positions to win the ball back, but the counter-attacking element didn't materialise. So the counter-attacking element didn't materialise, and that was down to planning because what I decided to do was almost divide the practice 25 minutes I decided that I'm going to spend the first part of the practice just working on the defending side and then the second part of the practice will be working on the counter attacking side now that was a mistake um, I, should, I should have just coached what I saw um, so I'm, I'm disappointed in myself for that but that's, that's the, that was my rationale so um, the assessor then said that um, were the aspects, which aspects of the session were the most effective, and um, he said that uh, the general information was good, um, which is nice, you know, um, but missed the opportunities to regain the possession, remembering what the practice is about, defending to counter attack, and no counter attack, and it's really managed. Um, Positives were um, established and maintained control. Um, re I recreated situations effectively, um, and the practice was realistic and challenging. Negatives were um, I stopped the practice at the appropriate time, so I didn't do that because I didn't work on what I actually saw, because I just thought I'm going to work on defending first and then counter attacking. So all the opportunities to counterattack, I ignored them. Uh, then progress the practice mm. appropriately. Um, the feedback was that I didn't do that, which again my rationale goes back to that. So that that really did damage the practice. Um, e exploit the moments and spaces for the transitions, which I didn't do. Um, I think that also some of my language is a little bit vague or contradictory so the feedback is that you've got to be a bit more specific with what you're saying to the players and in my head I reminded myself oh yeah it's the why the when and the where and that didn't come out in the practice now my preparation for the practice was appalling this is what had happened I was talking I was talking to somebody about something which was unrelated to my practice.
just before I had to go on and deliver the practice. So I wasn't even totally focused on the practice and I'm really disappointed in that. I don't think the person I was speaking to realised I was about to go on and deliver the practice. But I, I still stood and just had a chat with someone. And then the person that was practising their session finished a few moments earlier. And I looked at my watch and I thought, he's not going to finish yet. But he finished. And I wasn't prepared. So that was poor. Um, so you're going to see the practice now. Um, obviously you're going to have a critical eye. Um, as as did I when, I when I experienced it and when I watched it. So this is the practice. Um, defending to counter attack. Hello guys. Hello. Hello, how are you? Um, my name's Helen. We're going to be working on uh, how you defend to then counter-attack. Okay? Um, what I've done is I've laid the, well, you can see I've laid the bibs out. If you can please take a look. What we definitely need is goalkeeper. I've seen you guys do bits and pieces out there. Goalkeeper, centre-backs. Over here if we could just have four of you guys who understand how to play in the midfield position okay and we need one striker who's quite happy to be patient is that all right uh, the yellow team over there i'm going to be working mainly with just one team but i'll be managing the other two so i'll be giving you bits of information just on the side there's a yellow number 10. you're not going to start but I may put you on during the practice. So if you could please just go and stick the, pe the bibs on, but don't move around. Can we have a yellow number 10, so someone who's gonna play almost as a withdrawn striker. Thank you. So you know you're not going to go on just yet. Right. Okay, wonderful. So you can see the people standing right next to you. If you can go and set yourselves up on the field and play whenever you're ready. So... Yeah, just keep yourself here. There's a big chance I won't call you on. I just want to see how our number nine does on his own. Okay. okay so if I come across, I'll, I'll say to you, yeah, please go on. What's your okay, name? Josh. Okay, Josh, Josh thank you. <laughs> Play! Let's go!
Oh, good try. Good. Great effort. Your energy levels are really, really good. If you can please just set yourselves up. If you remember how you started on off field, the little mini field that you had, just set yourselves up. So the two centre backs here, goalkeeper just a wee bit higher for us. Two in the back here. Good keeper. Just turn around. Good. What's your name? Hey Justin, if you can move in a wee bit for me. Hold it there, hold it there. Stop moving, stop moving. Good. What's his name? What's your, what's your name, guy? Jamel. Jamel. Just move in a wee bit for me. You're doing a good job, okay? You've got a difficult job. I might bring someone on to help you, I might not. I want you just to work in here just a little bit for now. So that's how we're going to start off for you. You guys are doing a good job because you're staying connected, you're all thinking together. But I just want you to start thinking a little bit higher here. You're going to think just a little bit higher. You're going to sit just a little bit for me. You're going to move just a little bit wider for us. Lovely. So you've got a tough job. You OK? What's your name? Tom. Hi, Tom. You've got a tough job because you're working against these two guys here. So that's your basic shape, okay? Play wherever you want to. And hold it there. Send it over to the goalkeeper, start from the keeper's end. Nice and quick, off we go. We play from his touch, we're live. And hold it there. So, I'm going to be working mainly with our yellow team. The numbers are different for the yellow, so they have to have a different plan. The first thing we're looking at is how we defend. I like to start defending from the front. Tough, tough job for one person. What's your name again? Victor. Victor is good enough to do it, OK? But when they get the ball over here, for you, Victor, I want you to use this area here as your guide. So you're going to be shuffling slightly. You're our big, big number nine. Your job here is to screen if we can. Shuffle slightly. Hi. You're going to drop. Drop, 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 drop. We want him to drop just over here. The reason being, we want to start thinking, what can they do? Your job is screening, you're going to drop, but you're also going to get compact, OK? But it's got to be quick. You're going to drop as well, and you're going to get compact as well. So you're going to squeeze yourself in. 
So we've got our screener over here. We've got the compactness over here, but we don't want you to chase, okay? So if we take it back to our goalkeeper, if you come higher as you were, if you go wider as you were, and if you pop yourself a little bit higher as you were, we're gonna go from his touch, see what you do. Play. And hold it there. If we play it back to our goalkeeper, we've asked Jamal, we've asked you to screen, but this is your guide, I don't want you to chase because they're good enough to play it. So your job, if we play it wide, keeper, do me a favour, play it across. We're going to be moving across here, play it across the other side. Off we go again, hold it there, you're dropping. Now, as you come over here, you're going to drop slightly because you're going to screen that ball. You're going to squeeze in. So we've got our first triangle here. That's the screener. You're not going to chase it, OK? As it goes across, you just use the circle as your guide. As it's starting to advance forward, you're going to drop back over here. And you're going to screen him there. Is that OK? So if we try that one more time, you go a wee bit wider again. You go a bit, wee bit wider. As it starts to move, you guys come in. You're going to start higher. Good. Great effort, well done. No, let's play from the keeper over there. We're live, let's go, come on. Good. As soon as it goes there, yeah. we're squeezing him. And hold it there. Good. The information's excellent. Really good information. Red team, I love your energy. Really tough job. Remember I said I might bring someone in to help you? I might do, I'm not sure. As soon as it looks like it's advancing, you're going to drop and you're going to try and get just in front of the ball, OK? You guys, your job, really good, okay. We don't want him to get too far in between them. So you're going to move across a wee bit more. Try to manage the triangle if you can. If he can't get there and he's advancing, that's when you guys push forward, okay. That's only if he can't get there. So if we just play it back one, we're going to see as it starts to advance, Jamal's going to drop slightly. You're going to squeeze, don't let him get too far in between you and you're going to push up slightly if he comes right across there. Play. Good. Great job, well done. Oh no. Okay, that's unfortunate. Don't worry about that. Are you okay? Do you need to swap? How are you feeling? All right. While they're getting set up, if you can't make it back, it's not a major problem. It's only a major problem when you don't tell them. Yeah. Okay, so if you can't get back, don't panic, but just let them know. All right. Start for a keep on the other side. Hold it there. So we're not going to be pressing high. 
We want you guys, number seven, we need you to drop. You're going to be working across the side, not too far away from the centre. So we go back to the keeper again. Keep the energy levels up, guys. Off we go. Good. We can do, yeah. So for you, just manage your energy levels. Yeah. You don't have to keep chasing forward. All you would probably need to do, knowing your own energy levels, is just to shuffle sideways. Just use that movement sideways. Don't worry, let them go past, let them go past. Just shuffle sideways there. That's all you need to do. If you can't go forward, don't bother. Don't try and go forward. Right. Okay. So off my keeper, off we go. Not from you, not from you. Okay. And hold it there. Great work. Great work. Now you can see Jamal's got the intention to get there and screen. However, just in that position, I would say that we need you to do that job. I've asked him to use that as his guide. So I'm going to ask you to shuffle across. We don't necessarily want him in here. I don't want you in here because you've done a great job for them. So once they go past, you're just going to rest central here. You guys are going to move across. You're going to move across. You're going to move across. So now you're screening, OK? As that ball travels across, we need to travel as the ball travels. So if you play back one, Jamal started to make his movement. Hold it there. You're going to play back across again. Now we're going to screen. Hold it there. There. So we've got our little triangle happening, but we don't want that passing channel, OK? So if you come across, make sure you can see a couple of things. See where the ball's coming from. Also see where it's likely to get to. And see the angle over there, because that might be an outer for you if we regain, OK? So if we play back across, you're not going to go any further, Jamal. You two guys are going to create a little triangle over here. Remember your own energy levels. No, which way did you go? Let's go back that way, please. Play back again. You're going to receive it. You're going to receive it. You're going to tell your teammates now. You shuffle across, yeah, but you let them know. There, you let them know. And you let him know he's making a great triangle for you. So if you do that one more time, you're going to do that movement, but you're going to communicate to them so you oh. get a little triangle, yeah. okay? Good. Hey, good effort. Good effort. You're in the right position to stop it. Hey, come to me, come to me, come to me, come to me. It's okay, let them carry on. What's your name? Adam. Hi, Adam. Right, so what I've asked him to do is to manage his energy levels. Yeah. So he's come back to help you, which is excellent. But being aware that he's quite tired sometimes, I want you to also start to speak to him. Because there and then, when he was tired, he made yeah. that little mistake. So you might ask him, okay, play back straight away, and you can go out the other side. Oh. Okay.
start from our cave on the other side. As that ball is travelling now, midfield yellows. As the ball's travelling to the goalkeeper, make sure you can hear me. Remember, we're trying to screen. So as that ball goes across, we need you to also move across. Play from the goalkeeper. Let's change it a little bit. Now, goalkeeper, we understand that you can play short. We're now asking these guys to start screening. So they've got that idea right. There's something else we need to travel to now. Can you try to play balls a little bit further ahead so we can see what these two guys do over here when the four midfielders are doing a great job? So you, if you can play your balls a little bit higher up, you guys here have got a different job. You've got to try to split them. You've got to try and split them. That's your job. Play when you can. Good. Excellent job, well done. Hey, Adam, great work. <coughs> and hold it there. Adam, well done. Really, really good work. I'll tell you what we've done now. Now that we've travelled a bit further towards our own goal, goalkeeper, great work over there. What are you doing? Great relationship that happened over here. We're working on defending. We're also working on what we do when we get it. So if we can have the ball transferred over here, keeper. You guys were over here. Pop yourself back in there. Pop yourself back in there. So we've asked you to play the ball ahead, OK? We've asked you to play the aerial passes. We've managed the striker, we've managed our midfield. We're now asking the defenders to start figuring out what they do with the aerial passes. They've even gone one ahead. They've won the ball and they've played out. Great relationship over here. Pop yourself straight back in. If you give the ball to him here. As he's over here, I want you to move across just a wee bit more not too far, make sure you can have a body shape that allows you to see both things there. You can see the field and where the ball's coming from, but also get yourself ready for if that ball pops in, okay? Because you're quite a distance away from him. As you're popping in there and you're putting the pressure on. As we regain the ball nice and deep, that's now us looking to do our counter-attack. There's a few different ways you can counter-attack. Direct pass, Little dribble, quick passing. We've had the direct pass there. We had it diagonally. But I want you to start thinking nice and early. Can I get ready? Can I get ready into space? Because they've sandwiched you. So we're asking you now to have that relationship when you get the ball. That long pass is excellent and you used it really well, but we want our striker to be nice and ready, nice and early. So get that pass going again, if you can. Play the pass. You're going to try to hit the space for our striker, OK? Not the, right across there, just try and hit the striker in the space. So get that pass from him one more time. Good idea. What we want you to do, try to find the space behind their no. back two. He's a bit wide. He's a bit oh, well, you can tell you where he wants it, as long as it just drops in just behind them. Wonderful. Great, and play from there. Play. <laughs> You got it. 
Last couple play. <laughs> Time. Thank you very much, guys. Please bring yourselves in. Firstly, thank you very much, OK? Thank you're you're you. going to have, like, so many sessions to do and you're going to be so worn out. Thank you for your energy levels. That's your challenge to try and keep that up for the rest of the day. Um, defending to counter-attack. First thing we tried to make sure we had was our team shape. Um, we then tried to make sure we understood where we defend from. So, for me, personally, I think we start defending from the front. Um, a massive challenge because we didn't bring on our number 10, so we just had the number nine. And to make sure that he understood that he didn't have to chase everything. So it's a really, really tough job to do when you've just got that little guide. And then when the ball advanced, what did we ask him to do? Because he, he's got the energy to get back, but what did we ask him to do? Stay. Then who did he pass the player off to? Do you know what I mean? It's just in that order. But then the midfield, what sort of shapes are we looking for? triangles why easy shape to recognize enough people there to get their shape um the only thing we didn't touch on a great deal because we had a back two so those are your center backs the only thing we didn't touch on was the the path that would go aerially above them if we're asking them to play compact so that's the only thing we didn't do a great deal on um, and the different so sort of uh, ways that you can counter attack but thank you for uh, your energy and your work rate um, you're going to have lots and lots of input today so just appreciate your work today thank you very much thank you, thank you.